All right, look how awesome my dog is. She's under the truck. Lisi. Lisi. Hey, girl. Hey, Lisi. What are you doing? What are you doing down there? Are you cooling off? Is it too hot? Is it too hot? You hot? What are you doing under there? What are you doing under there? This is how much my dog loves tennis balls. Come on, Lisa. So I'm trying to foam roll my trap out right now and she's going nuts. <sighs> Lisey, hold on. So over time, I get a knot right on my trap area back here. I like to roll it out, but you use a tennis ball or a cross ball. But Lisey, on the other hand, gets really excited. Come on, Lise. I know, as you can see, um, Lisey is a pain in the past video, and she would not leave me alone, so I decided to go to the gym, actually, to finish up my foam roll session. So, why do I do foam rolling? Well, I do foam rolling for a number of reasons, but particularly, I did this style of foam rolling because I can really pinpoint a certain area, and I couldn't do that with my traditional foam roller, so I used a tennis ball. You can also use a lacrosse ball for this, but... The key with foam rolling is, for many reasons, you foam roll to release large amounts of tension and knots that form over time. You improve your performance before exercise by activating the central nervous system. You also um, improve the performance before exercise by activating more blood flow to the muscle. You also improve your joint range of motion. You help with recovery by um, smoothing out that muscle, and this also helps increase um, the torque within the lift because you have more range of motion. So as you can see right here, I was rolling out my trap, rolling out my shoulder blade. Um, over time, it gets tight right back there from if you sit at a desk for too long or if you sit at your computer, it tends to get too tight. So once you find that tight spot, the key is to just find the tight spot and wiggle around on it. Try to find it, and I know it's going to be a little bit painful at first, but that's really the key to this. And when you do that, um, you want to stick on it for about 30 seconds and really, really, really feel that knot start to uh, disappear. And after that, I mean, that's really the key to everything um, with foam rolling. After I do my shoulder, I like to get my calves. So my calves are really difficult to pinpoint with the foam or with the actual foam roller. So that's why I used um, the tennis ball for this. So I thought this was really effective, really useful. I had a knot right in my calf from sprints. After I got the one side of my calf, I did the other side. Slowly just finding that point that was most painful. And that's pretty much it, guys, you know. There's not really much to foam rolling in terms of you just pretty much find the area what's most tight and, you know, work at it for a couple of minutes. And I guarantee if you try this before your workout, you'll feel 10 times better. You might have some PRs, and you'll definitely have better recovery time. So I encourage you to foam roll, guys. If you want to hear more, check out um, my newsletter at www.graphic.com. Take care, guys.